Okay, a train initially at rest accelerates uniformly until its speed reaches 8 meters per second in 25 seconds. For the next 200 seconds, the train continues its journey with constant speed before it slows down uniformly and comes to a complete stop in 20 seconds. Sketch a labeled graph uh, of speed versus time for the whole journey. Uh, see, you need labor. Labor means you must have value. Uh? You must have value together. I want what graph? What graph is it? Speed against time. Speed against time, so that means V versus time for the whole journey. Uh, for the whole journey. Okay, so look, let's look one by one. Uh, so here you have several parts. Initially at rest, okay, initially the velocity is zero. Uh, accelerates uniformly. Okay, so here is the first part. Here's the first part. Then for the next 200 seconds, the train continues its journey with constant speed. Okay, uh, here another, another part. Here the uh, second part. And then before it slow down uniformly and come to a complete stop. So here is the third part. Uh, you must know the parts yeah, that involve. Okay, so let's draw out the first part. Okay, first I need an axis. I need to draw an axis. Okay, just draw an axis. Um, okay. Okay, uh, this should be enough. Okay, so now um, uh, this is a. I need to draw a velocity time graph. So this one is velocity. Okay, what unit is it? The unit is meter per second. You see that meter per second. So remember, right? Meter per second. And then uh, this is the time. Time is second. Yeah. Uh, time is second. Okay. Good. So now let's draw the first part. It start initially start from rest. Uh, so it start from uh, zero. It start from zero. Okay. Start from zero. Accelerate uniformly. Ah. Okay. Talking about acceleration, what's the relationship between acceleration? What's the relationship between uh, acceleration uh, to the velocity graph? What's the relationship between acceleration to to the velocity graph? Ah. So remember. My notes, the, uh, the gradient of velocity time graph is the acceleration uh, because A is dv dt, uh, that means acceleration is the gradient of velocity time graph. Uh, okay, so acceleration is actually dv dt, it's actually the gradient, uh, it's actually the gradient of velocity time graph. So, accelerate uniformly. Uh, uniformly, what does it mean? Uniformly, that means the gradient should be constant. It has a constant gradient. Uh, yeah? Constant gradient. So, it's a straight line graph. It's not a curve. It's not a curve. The gradient is uh, constant. Uh, it's a straight line graph. Okay? So, accelerates uniformly, that means uh, the velocity increase. Uh, what I can say, the velocity increase. Uh, getting more and more. Until the velocity equal to 8 in 25 seconds. So, let's draw out. Let's draw out. So, until uh, 25 seconds. Okay, this is uh, 25. Uh, 25 seconds. So, the, the speed reaches 8. Uh, speed reaches 8 meter per second. So, the, the, uh, I told you already the gradient is constant because accelerate uniformly. So the constant gradient and the velocity is increasing. Uh, so let's draw up. Yeah. So the 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 gradient. Uh, so the velocity increases. Ah, uh, like that. Yeah. Ah. Uh, so that's 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 it. Yeah. Ah, uh, see. The velocity increase. Ah, uh, velocity. Velocity increase, huh? velocity increase, and what I can say is uh, from here we can see the gradient of the graph, the gradient which is dv dt, the gradient is uh, constant, accelerate uniformly, uh, okay, uh, accelerate uniformly, constant gradient uh, until the velocity reaches 8. So the velocity increase from 0 up to 8, uh, velocity increase up from 0 up to 8. And then for the next 200 seconds, uh, for the next 200 seconds, the train continues a journey with constant speed. Uh, what does it mean with constant speed? 
That means no acceleration, zero acceleration. Uh, acceleration is zero because the velocity constant, uh, velocity constant, that means uh, the velocity. Okay, so we can see from here, uh, it continue the journey with constant speed. So the velocity become constant. Uh, let's draw out. Velocity become uh, constant. Uh, velocity become constant. Ah, for how long? For 200 seconds. Uh, so that means for, for the next 200 seconds, that means uh, the next 200 seconds after 25. So that is until what time? Until what time? 200 seconds after 25. Ah, it is 25 plus 200, which is 225. Ah, don't write 200 here. Don't write 200 here. We need to take 200 plus 25, become 225. Ah, don't get it wrong. Ah. So it continues for, you know, for another 200 seconds. Ah, this is what it means. Ah, 200 seconds. Oh, so it maintain a constant speed. Maintain a constant speed. Uh, v equal to 8 second, uh, V equal to 8 meter, meter per second. So from here we can say, we can see that uh, here velocity is constant. Uh, velocity is constant because the gradient is zero. Uh, you see? The DVDT, you know, VA equal to DVDT, here is zero. Zero gradient. Uh, zero gradient. You see? Uh, that's why the graph is constant. Uh, it's moving. It's still moving. Still moving at constant velocity, just uh, velocity maintained at the top speed. It moving at the highest speed, uh, no, but the velocity doesn't increase. Uh, it maintained at 8 meter per second. This is at the very high speed already. It's still moving at a very high speed. Okay? And then, before it slows down uniformly and com comes to a complete stop, that means uh, it slow down. The slow down, that means... Uh, uh, Slow down also uniformly, uh, also constant gradient. Uh, like slow down, slow down that means velocity decrease. Uh, velocity decrease. So we can expect uh, the graph like that. Uh, the, the, the graph decrease. Uh, the graph decrease. Uh, come to a complete stop. Come to a complete stop that means the velocity, you know, the velocity back to zero the velocity go back to zero over here uh, so velocity decrease uh, so this one uh, this one uh, the gradient the gradient is constant you see the gradient is constant uh, but this uh, the gradient now uh, is uh, last time the gradient is uh, positive because accelerate okay it is positive now decelerate negative uh, okay uh, decelerate you see that uh, so um, yeah it come to a complete stop uh, in how how long in 20 seconds that means uh, it slow down and comes to a complete stop in 20 seconds that means uh, in 20 seconds uh, in 20 seconds uh, in 20 second time it come to a complete stop so don't write here 20 yeah uh. oh my god it come to a uh, 20 seconds, it comes to complete stop. That means you must plus 20, you get 2, 4, 5. Ah. So the total journey is actually 245 seconds. The whole journey, it takes 245 seconds. Ah, okay. So uh, it comes to a complete stop. Ah. Ah. So it accelerates uniformly and uh, decelerate uniformly. Okay. Uh, here uniform means uh, the gradient is constant. Yeah, what it means by uh, constant gradient uniformly, that means they have this constant gradient. What, like you see the first part, accelerate uniformly, that means uh, all, all the parts here, they have the same gradient, you see? They have the same gradient, same gradient. You see that? The gradient never change, a constant gradient. Uh, but, uh, uh, and the next part, the slow down uniformly also. Also, uh, also constant gradient. Uh, also constant gradient you see that uh, if if accelerate non-uniformly if let's say as the question say accelerate non-uniformly accelerate non-uniformly then the the, 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 cur the curve is a curve you know the graph is curve not a straight line the graph is curved like that 
uh, non-uniform gradient yeah? uh, or uh, you can say uh, the, the this acceleration means the gradient of the of the velocity time graph uh, the gradient non-uniform means uh, you see that uh, small gradient become bigger and bigger gradient uh, this one what it means by non-uniform gradient uh, but uh, this one is a uniform acceleration and uh, uniform acceleration same gradient and uh, slow down uniformly same gradient also okay uh, so this one accelerate so velocity increase this one moving at high speed maintain a constant speed so zero gradient zero acceleration and then slow down uh, slow down so decelerate okay the velocity decrease to zero finally okay uh, that, that's it yeah it start it start at rest also so that's why it start at rest initial velocity is zero accelerate to eight meter per second velocity and then slow down back to zero okay that's all for these questions